All right, we're going to dive right in uh, to our COVID update. Today, we're reporting 3,053 new cases. That is the fourth highest Tuesday. It's higher than the the last couple of weeks. It's pretty close to about uh, three weeks ago. So again, we're, we're, we're trying to determine um, where these numbers are going. Uh, we believe that it's uh, first, uh, we, are, we are sure that this is uh, a, a surge caused by gatherings uh, through the holidays, but uh, there is a chance in what we are seeing in the data that while people gathered in the holidays, that maybe now they've uh, changed their behavior back to being very careful. If that's the case, then hopefully we'll see a leveling off, but only uh, the data over the next couple of days and into next week is going to let us know. Um, the hospitalization numbers just up uh, a little bit. Uh, 1,733 individuals in the hospital for COVID, 397 in the ICU, 205 on a ventilator. That's actually down to our positivity rate, 12.23%, also down a little bit. I think one important thing to note is why 12, while 12 is way too high, it has been in that 12 range now for several uh, days when before it was going up and up and, and up. So again, way too high, but uh, we at least hope that this is a sign of it leveling off. New cases by county, Jefferson 368, Madison 142, Kenton 139, Fayette 138, Boone 94, Warren 90, Pulaski 84, Pike 70, Davis 66, Campbell and Wayne 62, and the others can be found on KYCOVID19 ky.gov. Sadly, we've lost 22 additional Kentuckians that we are announcing today. Um, uh, far too many. Um, there are a number from Boyle County. This is going to be in part, it looks like, because of, of, of a lag in reporting. Um, these did not all occur in December. Uh, some are, are back a, a couple of, of months just for Boyle County, so seven individuals, all men, ages 51, 63, 66, 71, 78, 87, and 88. Uh, three of those individuals um, uh, were were in uh, corrections institutions, and and we've uh, while we've previously reported uh, the loss of life in those institutions due to COVID-19, uh, this is where the the the, the report comes in. Um, on on uh, the data on death. Two individuals from Carter County, a 76-year-old female and a 78-year-old male. A 60-year-old from Harrison County, a 61 and a 75-year-old, uh, both women from Hopkins County. In Jefferson County, a 56 and a 97-year-old woman and a 78, a, a two 78-year-old men. In Jessamine County, an 80-year-old male. In Lewis County, a 73-year-old man and a 74-year-old man. In Muhlenberg County, a 69-year-old man. And in Pulaski County, a 43-year-old woman and an 83-year-old woman. 22 individuals lost are a lot of people to lose. And that means that there are a lot of hurt families tonight that are going to need your help, that are going to need you to reach out, that are going to have to mourn at, at such a difficult time to do it and, and lay their their loved one to, to rest at a time when they can't do it the way that at least we, we used to. So please light your homes up green. Uh, please keep ringing those bells. There's somebody out there uh, that, that needs uh, your help. Long-term care facilities, 71 new residents testing positive, 53 new staff members, uh, 28 um, additional deaths attributable to long-term care.